we, we arrived there, you know, full of hope and excited. Um, I think the issue for a lot of a lot of recruits arriving there from Purbright, which was where we all, we all did our um, basic training, was um, the place felt like um, a demotion uh, w when it should have felt like an elevation and a promotion, because it was it was labelled as second you know second phase training. <clears throat> you, you, you deserved to be there. You'd gone through the basic training, but it was far far more difficult, and that was un unsettling for for a lot of people. And you know they they. They didn't cope well with it. It was it was very difficult. Um, when I compare the regime at Purbright to Deep Cut, Deep Cut was far more brutal. Mm -hmm. um, the, the brutality was was kind of more insidious, uh, unexpected. Whereas at Purbright, you know, if you made, if you made a, a mistake, you were punished, and you expected that. So, we were just looking at pictures of you when you arrived at Deep Cut, and six years after that you had a breakdown and you, you put it down to what you experienced at Deep Cut. You were talking there about the brutality that you experienced at Deep Cut and how it was different from what you'd ever experienced before. Why was it six years on that you pinpointed that particular period for what the, for the breakdown that you had? Um, <clears throat> well, it happened when I was at uh, university in the early, early 2000s and I started, I think it, at that point, Deep Cut started to appear more and more in the media. Um, so I, it, it's, I started to think about it. I'd not thought about it for years, and I started to to, to have nightmares about it. And, and I used to think about all the people that I'd met. Um, I mean, I, I wasn't targeted personally. Um, I was very fit there. I was one of the fittest there in, in um, B Squadron uh, when I arrived there in, in March. Um, but the, the the problem was, a lot of people there were, were targeted and they were bullied. Uh, um, they were targeted by the instructors singled out people used to come to my room a lot of the younger recruits you know there were, there were kids there who were 17 18 some of them couldn't iron clothes they couldn't look after themselves you know personal hygiene was an issue for the for them excuse me uh, and then you know people used to come and come to my room and ask for help and you know it was it was a crazy period literally people were were hiding under the under the beds to try and escape from instructors you know they would do anything to a to, to escape from the from the regime, 